Hello student, we are solving the numerical questions based on the Coulomb's law. Is that clear? You may see the study model, I think you are all having this class assignment 2, the numerical based on problem based on Coulomb's law, formula used, F vacuum the force between the two charges, I just want to tell you this, the force between the two charges is uh, uh, here, you can understand this, force between the two charges is given as F is equal to K Q1 q2 divided by r square is that clear and where k what is k here k is uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and q1 q2 by r square where r is the distance between them and q1 q2 are charges here in si system in si system in si system of unit this kid this could be here uh, 9 into 10 to the power 9 and q1 q2 by r square i will suggest you to use the value of k as a, a 1 by 4 pi epsilon epsilon naught while you have to use this value when you are solving numericals otherwise you have to go on speaking like k k q1 q2 by r square it is very convenient and you even you can learn all the formula related with the electric field and charges is that clear now we will solve the numerical here you may see that the force in vacuum is there and here the force in uh, medium is also k, k is kappa here, this is the dielectric uh, ratio, the uh, force between the two charges uh, in vacuum and force between the two charges in medium, this is compared as, I am telling this how this the k comes here, so you understand here this force between the two charges k, k sorry, k, you can understand here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, this epsilon naught is for vacuum this epsilon naught is for vacuum so we i'm writing here this is vacuum this is for vacuum is that clear now the two charges also i can take here this the two charges are here i'm take, uh, taking the two charges are here okay okay guys charge one and here the charge two is that clear you may see charge one and charge two is that clear the charge one and charge two i took here this the positive they are in nature it's positive this is also positive so symbolization it's q1 or it's q2 is that clear uh, the distance between these two charges what the distance between them is the distance between them is this I think this is the distance between them what the distance between them this is called R so the distance is R right now so if the whole this these the the medium the we can speak here these the both the charges are here medium here is the vacuum medium is that here when the two charges are placed in the vacuum then the force between them what type of force will be here the nature of the force will be repulsive this charge will be pushed right side this charge will be will, will be pushed left side is that clear well understood here so if these both the charges are now placed in a medium suppose that i have taken another medium here is that clear suppose some medium is taken here like that water we have taken here that uh, iron medium some magnetic medium we have just taking here so these these system now brought this whole system is now brought uh, i'm just talking about this whole system is now brought where is to brought this new system, uh, system this system is to be brought here in somewhere else like that uh, i'm telling this this system is now brought in some medium in some medium i mean to say that this is a medium now developed here a medium is there so this is not a vacuum here i'm just saying it's a medium here okay it's medium it's a medium clear so will the force be affected here obviously the force will be affected so what will the formula for the forces here the formula of the force will be uh, simple it is you may see this uh, in first case this formula will come here this for, for the first case you just can understand here this is the for force for that and the same is also uh, the same will also work here but one change will occur here that what the change will occur here you may see the changes here here in the place of this epsilon naught, we we will uh, we will not take here the epsilon naught. We'll take here only epsilon, right now. So this this terms is for vacuum and this term is for medium, right, guys? If we will compare, if we'll compare these all, means uh, I'm just talking about comparison means force a between the two charges in vacuum, vacuum divided by force between the two charges in medium is equal to one by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square the distance between them is same same here 1 by 4 pi epsilon only q1 q2 by r square 
you just can understand here that denominator denominator is to be cancelled here q1 q2 cancels here uh, here 1 by 4 pi 4 by 4 pi cancel it's 1 by epsilon naught and 1 by epsilon so this will go as a numerator and this will come as a denominator so the expression would be epsilon by epsilon naught so we'll speak here force in vacuum to the force in medium you can understand this here so further it shall be it is force in vacuum is equal to this will give the sum value it is okay so this is called k k for kappa right now this is kappa and how to represent looking like k right and you also can represent this in this is the manner of that representing but i would suggest you to write down here epsilon r it's called permeability right now or uh, what is that into force in medium so what we can speak here force in vacuum between the two charges is stronger than the force in medium right guys so come on here this what i'm going to discuss it is uh, the force between the two charges that here so the k is coming here right now next is unit is to be used newton is to be there uh, coulomb is to be there here uh, the unit of k will also be defined here you may see this is class assignment 2 the first question the electrostatic force of repulsion between two positively charged and carrying equal is this this is the force is given here right when they are separated by a distance 5 angstrom how many electrons are missing from each ion means first you have to find the amount of charge and then letters to be electron to be found out here is that clear so i am telling this how to operate this you may understand this this is the app before you this is seeing here this this is your uh, uh, machine app it is when you will just uh, we just performing the ohms law here or simply we are just taking uh, how much uh, coulomb charge just like that here uh, 10 micro coulomb if we are just taking here this i'm talking about 10 micro coulomb is that clear multiply by 10 micro coulomb multiply by 10 raised to the power i think minus 7 is there too so 10 i am just taking here it is in minus 7 order it is is that clear so 10 i am taking here this this is in coulomb right and further also the second charge i am just taking here this is also in 10 same as it is and further the distance between them i am just taking 0 0.01 meter so simply i am taking 0 point okay 0 0.01 this is in one meter also we can take a 0 0.01 so what is that here it's a 10 uh, one the 100 uh, just you can understand this J just what is that here 1 by uh, is 10 meter it means 0 0.1 meter further 100 means 0 0.01 further by 1000 that is 0 0.01 let this is means the thousandth part of 1 meter so quite distance this is we can speak here 0 0.01 you may understand 0 0.01 is that clear guys so we have taken first the 10 uh, coulomb and the second also 10 coulomb and the distance between them is 0 0.001 right now now we just what the information that we have obtained here before you this okay so you may see on the screen what we have obtained here uh, coulombs law distance between them 0 0.001 and 10 coulomb both the charges we have taken here this. the force between them is how much is coming here this 8.988 into 10 to the power 17 newton so stronger force this is you can say this could be the order of uh, strong nuclear force begins and uh, potential energy later we'll see this the for formula that we employed here this right guys you may see force is here and what type of pattern you will obtain here this you may see the pattern what pattern you are observing here this this is called the um, field line where the field you are observing here there. is that clear this is called the field line you may see this line of forces are here can you see the blue ones are line of forces what does this mean line of forces these are imaginary or hypothetical redrawing this is drawing simply the human has made com comfortably to represent its field here so the next topic of concerning our will be the field so what do you understand by the field later we'll discuss here is that clear this is called the a system of the two charge that we have taken here you may see in the 10 10 coulomb both the charges we have taken right guys understood you the other unit can also be faraday but later we'll discuss here about this clear guys now come back some more information can also be taken in the same way is that clear now next is what is that next question what is saying the next question the electro force is given here this the electrostatic force repel repels and the force is what given 3.7 to the power minus 19 minus 9 so the force is what so formula is the technique of solving this obviously force is equal to the formula is k q1 q2 by r square what about these two charges are here so force is already here given 
how much is the force is the force is 3.7 into 10 to the power minus 9 so 3.7 point minus into 10 to the power minus 9 is equal to k is what 9 into 10 to the power 9 as we are calculating them in the SI system k q1 q1 q2 so uh, if the charges are identical so both will be qq so qq will be the square here you may uh, understand this uh, positive charge on carrying equal charge is that clear then they are separated distance 5 angstrom 5 angstrom is the distance between them you understand 5 angstrom so it is q you may understand this is q square 5 angstrom angstrom 5 into 10 to the power minus 10 this is in meter you just have to know here 1 a meter is to be divided in 10 to the power 10 angstrom is that clear so 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 now further solving we will obtain the charge here so first is to be solved it's r square the distance is clear so further is to be here the same quantity is to be there taken there 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 and here is q square and uh, what shall be it is 3.7 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 obviously uh, you are studying the 12th standard so obviously the carry on the terms not to be taken again and again right no? so here this 10 will operate to the minus 20 will be here this minus 20 will here be operated okay and this 5 fives are 25 so 25 will here just it's a 25 right guys now the next step is here further is to be solved here 25 uh, so to minus 20 and minus so what shall be it is 25 sevens are you just have to read 27 are uh, first we operate them 10 to the power 19 10 to the power minus 29 and here shall be next what here will be 25 7 are 175 is that clear 175 has 5 clear and carry 17 25 3 is 75 75 and 70 82 is that clear and 92 you just may understand this 2 decimal 1 decimal 1 decimal it's 92.5 92.5 okay next is 92.5 is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 into q square further is to be solved here this <coughs> and this is to be transferred here so what will be it is so obviously this will come as a means here it will come as, as a positive when it will go it is 9 negative will become here so 38 10 to the power minus right now or 9 is to be 92 divided by 5 and it's a 9 and here q square is there okay so how can we simplify this it's a 92.5 is there we have to find out it's a square root 9 1 is 9 what's left here 0 uh, so 9 2 is a 9 1 is uh, what's left here please tell me 9 1 is 9 0 25 become 9 2 is 18 is that clear what left now 25 after that here 7 70 so furthermore also be strict taken here this uh, 10 point 10 point what is that 2 uh, and left uh, sevens are okay and furthermore also be t taken 10 to the power minus 38 and q square is there we want to find out the square root of this so of approximately the square root of 10.7 what will be it is 10.27 the finding method of a square root is here it will give 3 is that clear here it will give what so 3 3 will become here this it's a 6 and here will be 9 give you 1 and 2 7 point taking the decimal again what is to be written here this if I will write to here so twice 62 will give you 120 I uh, think uh, 10 uh, 60 60 120 124 will be given here so what shall write here this 2 it's a 124 what's left here 3 obviously it will not go any time in so 3.20 is coming here 3.20 is a square root right now or it's a square root what will it will be simply the square root means 38 the square root of that what 10 to the power so it shall be 10 to the power minus 19 10 to the power minus 19 and q is there this is the charge is coming in the square i think here in the coulomb this is so coulomb can be converted into the so q is coming here this 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this much is the charge actually existing the force now it's not asking the charge here the questionnaire is asking here this 
how many electrons are missing from each means electron has to be found means if this mass is the amount of charge then how many electrons together will make this charge so the formula of quantization is what since q is equal to let n charge are making this okay so what shall be it is so 32 point into 10 to the power minus 19 and here is to be found out what is the value of e so e will be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 is equal to what n so 10 to the power 19 19 what shall be cancel or here what the are this is constituting it's two will come here 32 point that is called n so we can speak here the two electrons when are <coughs> removed or uh, accepted by any system or any atom then this much force will be existed between them is that clear guys now see the next also what is that here two electrons are now coming here this this is a simple method however the numericals actually put in the confusion but the main aspect of the physics every student are capable should be capable in finding the answer numerically because the data analysis and numerical expectation actually the essence of the science study if you don't have the data if you do, don't have the predictions if you don't have the amount then how can you understand the concept in the basic way right guys so don't be confused slowly first you will take the time too long then later you will start solving very fastly okay guys now see the question number two also a free pit ball <coughs> a of eight gram carries a positive charge this is the amount of charge in the pit ball what must be the nature and magnitude of a charge here show uh, given second pit ball be fixed five centimeter below the former ball so that the upper ball is stationary stationary it means uh, so what amount of the force will keep the ball stationary you try to understand and whenever you're going to solve the question numerical you have to uh, practicalize the situation just what exactly is there you uh, like that the, in this question a free pit ball free pit ball of 8 gram carries a positive charge of this much what must be the nature and magnitude of the so that given to second pit ball b fixed 5 centimeter below the former is that clear what does this mean means this kind of situation is actually existing here one pit ball is at here i think you can understand here this okay one pit ball is at here you understand this one pit ball is here or the second ball we just have keep taken here this blue color ball it is this ball is at here is that clear I, you try to understand this what i'm saying you do okay one ball is at here it's called ball a you may understand this is called ball a and this is called ball b and what is the distance between the ball here tell please the ball the distance between them is the ball distance between them is what this is a carrying charge this much okay eight gram it is or this much are charge here okay and the gap between them is five centimeter this is five centimeter five centimeter means five into ten to the power minus two is in meter whenever we are just solving the numericals you have to remember about the si unit so <coughs> Uh, what is the charge this carrying here this the charge carrying how much charge is carrying this the amount of the charge is 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb this is the charge here so how much charge this second ball must have so that it will be stationary the questioner is same asking here you may understand this what question is asking free pit ball 8 gram carries positive charge what must be the nature and magnitude of charge so that be given to uh, second pit ball exactly so upper ball is stationary exactly you just try to think the situation here okay guys what I am just saying to this the A ball is there obviously if the B ball will not present so what practically will happen here this please tell me the ball will fall down the ball will fall down what is the mass a mass of the ball it's a 5 gram ball is there clear so obviously when the uh, is having some charges there okay so when anything else when held under gravity so how much force is experienced by this is so it's a g m1 m2 this is called the gravitation force you just understand here so it's a another formula is also there the w is equal to what m g so the force will be experienced when the ball is uh, kept here this the ball is kept here the w downward will act here so one force is acting this is called w and what is that here this w so if there is no ball the below ball b is not present here then the red ball will fall down is that clear with the force how much here please tell me 
that is W is equal to mg and what is mg? 5 gram 5 into 10 to the power minus tell please 3 this is in kg and it's 9.8 this much is there is that clear? this much force will try to bring the red ball down so obviously this ball so th this much force is actually downward is acting this is called the weight weight is a force here 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so we'll multiply this also here 5 8s are 40 just we can take here 5 8s are 40 is that clear? 5 9s are 45 45 and 4 how much is 49 the two test one decimal is to be taken here this so we can speak here 40 49 into 10 raised to the power how much is this placed minus 3 Newton this much force is actually downward acting on the red ball right so one the ball is to be in equilibrium now the red ball this red ball you understand here this this is the red ball here is that clear this red ball how much force is this is experiencing this much force this is experiencing this force is experiencing it is equal forces to be given in this direction same equal for equal forces then force w will be cancelled by upper force and what force this will be this will be the electric force when the charge is being placed here this the nature of the charge will be positive why because this is positive charge this red is positive charge so blue must also be the positive charge here is that clear so what the question is asking is so the method of this is analysis of question so you have to write here nature of force nature of nature of charge nature of charge on what we can say on b is positive the nature of charge on b is positive the first is that clear and uh, how much what is the amount of the charge mm -hmm. so just we can find out the amount of charge here uh, let listen here the distance between 5 centimeter so how much force is to be uh, balanced here equal this much force here so the repulsion force between them is f is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 okay into the charge is what here q1 and q2 so equal uh, must be there what nature nature of that uh, equal charge must be there here so q is curve will write down here just and what is the amount of charge here so q1 q2 divided by the distance between them is what 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it's a whole square right so the charge amount the charge will be equal so we can write down here just 9 into 10 to the power force is what and the right side is 9 into 10 to the power no, sorry it's a 9 it's 9 and q square divided by 5 centimeter 5 5 are 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 and what the force is the force between them is how much is the force here the force between them is this that this is the force 49 into 10 to the power minus 3 49 into 10 to the power minus 3 let this is is that this is to be transferred here so 25 nines are 175 and you just have to check whether they at 9 or 25 being cancelled or not so 25 nines are 225 and carry 22 here that and 25 was 100 and 122 is there 122 okay into 10 raised to the power what is that here minus 9 because the power are same here and 9 into 10 raised to the power uh, what is it 9 and q square further is to be solved here 1225 divided by 9 into what is that 10 to the power 9 and uh, later into 10 to the power minus 9 is also there so and it's q square is to be there what is that it shall be 2 times I think 10 to the power minus 9 that is what minus 18 and here 9 goes in 12 it's one time what's left here uh, 3 left no, 32 becomes 9 2s are 18 9 3 are 27 what's left here 5 becomes 55 now becomes it is 9 5s are 45 and how much is 45 9 6 are 54 it's a 6 time will go it is, is that clear? 6 time it will go here 54 1 left here again so point 9 1 is 9 and again 1 1 1 further is to be taken here so, and q square is also there if you'll find out the square root it shall be 10 to the power minus 9 clear or the square root of this what shall be the square root of this 136.1 so here is to be taken it shall 1 1 will come here is 1 again it's what become 2 
one zero bring down one pair is there what should be taken here this i think he has to be taken one so one it is also one one twenty one is there okay now it's a one one is also there twenty one how much is left fifteen now bring down one is there also one pair is to be taken here this okay so it's a twenty two okay what letter will be here that is this here so what should be taken here this point I think here if I will write it is uh, two five zero ten to seven zero, so seven times twenty two seven zero. What it should be will exceed or not? So maximum I can take here this six here eleven point six is there also, eleven point six. Here some number will come that will make it eleven point seven also. Is that clear? This is called Q. The square root of Q is there. Clear? What does this? It's the Coulomb. The value of the amount of the charges Coulomb coming here. The questionnaire is being asked here. How much? So exactly this is the amount of the charge that is to be. Now you may see a particle of mass m in carrying charge minus q1 is moving around a charge plus q2 along a circular path of radius r. A particle of mass m, particle of mass m carrying charge minus q1 is moving around a charge. This is simple concept here. You try to understand the question whether exactly speaking here the situation is saying one charge is of minus q1. The another charge is a plus q2. Right now, you understand this. By uh, one q1 charge is moving around q2 charge. Okay, so how this situation could be handled here? Uh, minus charge is to be. Uh, we can understand this. One charge is at here. Sorry. One charge is at here. Okay. This is minus. Uh, this is plus charge. Okay. Another charge is also minus charge. Is there. This is minus charge. Clear? So we can understand this here. Uh, this is. And it's revolving around this. The continuously, it's revolving about it in circular path. Right now, the direction of motion will be this: is negative or this will be positive. It's a Q1 is given here or say Q2. The Q2 is minus right now. So what the questioner is saying here is again Q1 plus 2 Q2 is carrying charge. Q1 is moving around. Means negative is moving and positive is not moving. <coughs> circular path of radius this much circular path of radius q2 q1 this is q1 this is q1 and this is q2 okay and it's moving in circular path the distance between them this is the radius here obviously you all have to have a study would have been studied uh, studied by your teachers in the 11th class that when any body is continuously this is in circular equilibrium we can speak the body and the charge is moving on a circular path obviously so force always is exist in pair so one force is actually govern obviously the straight force is actually trying to push ahead away from the circular track so another force would be there exist that that is trying to push in toward the center it means the, what is balancing it this is called centripetal force so what force is keeping the charge on circular path centripetal so what is the source of centripetal centripetal is the pseudo force it's not uh, actually the main force here this is developed by the some other forces right what the force is here that is called the electrostatic force so we can speak here the electrostatic force between them is q1 and q2 by r square the distance is the radius here and this is giving actually the centripetal in force right now mv square by r <laughs> So this is the electrostatic force is now equal to the mv square r. Right now here we can further to resolve the equations. Okay, this could be here this. So it shall be k q1 and q2 is equal to and here will be mv square divided by r. You just can understand further what the question is saying here. So the question is asking here along circular path to prove that the time period of revolution. Time period is to be found out. What is the formula for time period? So you just know if any body is moving on a circular path, right now. So this is called the radius of orbit. So time period it means time taken to complete one revolution. So orbital velocity can be given as a two pi, okay, r divided by v, uh, t. Sorry, the velocity is to be taken here t. So further is to t is equal to two pi r divided by v. V is what here orbital velocity. So this will be the orbital velocity. Clear. So from this our formula, orbital velocity can be found out here. So what is orbital velocity? It's a two pi r. The orbital velocity will be k q one q two, okay, by r m and whole under root. Is that clear? 
so further this can be simplified as this rm will go as numerator so 2 pi r under root it's a rm divided by k q1 q2 k q1 and q2 but this we are not to find out so it can go inside the bracket by coming becoming 4 this can also go inside the bracket becoming a square this also can go inside the bracket as becoming a square right now so one once uh, the value of k you will put here this so what shall be it is next uh, 4 pi r square 4 pi square r square 4 pi square r square is that clear and what next is 4 pi square r square and further rm is also there rm divided by k q1 it's rm divided by k k q1 and q2 that is plus or minus is that we have not loud this is it's a t time period so uh, really we have to find out the answer in the terms of k please we check the question again is it here no the answer is to be given in the terms of epsilon naught is that here so how can we give this here what is the value of now k is to be put here the value of k is to be put here 4 pi r square r square so r r to be become here this r cube is that clear r cube it is r cube m whole divided by k is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q1 and q2 for this to be done in this what later now this will go as a numerator it will be 16 and pi a cube will be there epsilon naught also and r to the power 3 m whole divided by what shall be q1 and q2 this is t for time period is that clear this is the time period of any charge that is revolving around that here so next time you just have to bring the informations uh, ready madely while solving some numerical so what is the what is the time period between the two charges when they are just moving that is that clear 6 pi so it is the function of what here please tell me see the function it is function of 16 is constant value here pi is constant here epsilon is also constant q1 q2 fix for the charges m is so we can speak here the time period is r cube where it is m here this you may see this the time period of a charge particle is the function of position and mass that the concept you can understand from the captors circular motion or planetary motion concept here the position and the mass is actually the domain of the force domain of the force means these are affecting its force is that clear you just have to know this is that clear guys now see the next also the question number next is also there what is that two particles each having the mass 5 gram and charge 1.0 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb is stay in limiting equilibrium limiting equilibrium what limiting equilibrium means the how are they are for experiencing force but they are just not in motions force are acting you just understand here it's like in limiting equilibrium rotational equilibrium thermal equilibriums chemical equilibriums okay uh, different types of equilibrium uh, you would have studied right so equilibrium is what the system is experiencing the thought the system is also experiencing the mechanism mechanism is working here but the system is in zero acceleration it means the velocity the system is not in the kinetic however it's having the energy is that clear so what this is two particles each having mass 5 gram charge this much stay in limit equilibrium so obviously they are uh, experiencing attractive force obviously when the two mass are taken the two masses are taken one mass i'm just taking here this okay the mass is here you may understand this okay the one mass is here and one mass is here so tell please according to the uh, newton's law of gravitation what will happen what the force will exist between them the distance between them is r exactly this is called inverse square law k and here is what g m1 m2 by r square it is the mathematical hypothesis about the coulomb newton's law right now uh, but it's not many scientists are not using this law as law right so r is there the one mass is there and the another mass is also there what the force they will experience here whenever you are going through the physics study you ever have to remember some facts between uh, um, during your study that's called basic and fundamental forces are general w general w g for what gravitation e for electrostatic force 
N for strong nuclear force and W for weak nuclear force. There is no forces uh, accepting these four right now and even these force actually develops the other uh, pseudo concept it means instantaneous forces uh, instantly the force is developed by these four forces. Sometimes we just uh, I, I gave an example just before in the numerical school centripetal force is that it? So, the two masses are here obviously one force the attractive force will come in use clear if the attractive force will come in use the body will try to move it to, uh, toward each other but no they are in equilibrium what is the meaning of equilibrium it means that uh, a repulsion force is keeping the another force is actually here working another force would have been working here this here it is working here right now uh, why I am just making the two arrow f1 f2 because by uh, here yes right saying the third law of Newton you have studied in the 11th class equal and opposite direction existing here. So, these blue one lines you may see this is the gravitation force and the red one uh, purple one line color you may see this is the other force that is keeping the body in the equilibrium is that clear. So, we can speak here the force is uh, this is called the E force is K Q 1 and Q 2 by R square is that clear and another force that I am talking about it this is called that uh, uh, what force is is a gravitation force F is equal to G force this is G force and what the force is what G and it is uh, M 1 and it is uh, M 2 divided by R square. So, these force when are equal the body will be in equilibrium is that clear because their directions are opposite. So, they to be equal here if they are will equal their distance is same here. So, equating them R R will be cancelled here G Q 1 Q 2 is to be solved here according to the given value right now you may understand this here else. The value is given here 5 gram mass is given and charge is also given limiting equilibrium horizontal table with separation 10 centimeter. So, 10 centimeter distance is not coming in use because this will be cancelled coefficient of friction is given here. The coefficient of friction means this force the coefficient of friction. So, gravitation no actually there is a table you may see there is table ok one object is at here and one object is at here the friction force is friction force is f is equal to mu n this is the friction force. So, where is the mu n is what mu n is m g here normal reaction this is. So, what the mu coefficient of friction is and this force must be equal to k q 1 and q 2 by r square this force will not come in use here is that clear. So, this is that here the distance is given here q 1 q t given k value is already on just knowing this. So, mu I do not know whatever is this ok it is m uh, I think here at a 5 gram 5 into 10 to minus 3 this is in kg and 9.8 it is is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 10 to the power what is that here uh, here is to be 9 into 10 to the power uh, minus 9 into q 1 q 2 here the value of q is written here that divided by distance is also here. So, what is to find out here actually you may see in the question what is to find out the coefficient of friction between the particle find value of mu. So, can you calculate this for finding value of mu. So, you just have to understand the term what is to be calculated here. Now, see the question number what the question next is saying answer the following in one answer the following first is two insulated charge copper sphere A and B have their center separated by center means the distance is always taken by from the center distance by 50 centimeter what is the mutual force of electrostatic between them the mutual force is to be found out here the mutual force is to be found out here this ok. Can you calculate this question or not ok guys your assignment of that is I am giving here this 6 7 8 only 3 question will appreciate you 6 7 uh, sorry uh, 7 8 uh, 9 7 8 9 the 3 question will appreciate here because your home assignment is also uh, be being given from your school side. So, I am not giving the 5 to 10 questions sir. however, if you are interested in doing numericals. So, we will appreciate them is that clear guys thank you very much have a nice day.